guys, today's another day down here in Florida. It is very dark out right now because I waited all day to film this video for you guys. But today what we're going to do is we're just going to wash up the 180 really quick because I haven't washed it. Like I said in the last video, the wheels are probably really pitted now and everything. And I just, it's a bad representation of myself of driving around a dusty piece of junk now. So I'm going to wash it up, make sure it's all nice and clean, and then it's going to find its spot right back here in a shop where it's going to stay for the rest of its life. Probably not, but until it gets slid into a wall. Hopefully not. But after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and take the tractor off of the truck and we're going to take the rear suspension off it. Go ahead and guesstimate how we're going to get that rear all set up. I didn't really talk too much about that thing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting all go-kart stuff for the back. It's like 400 bucks for the rear, for the whole rear setup. That's wheels, tires, the floating axle, the bearings, the brake rotor the brake caliper and the chain uh sprocket so we're going to be doing all of that and getting that thing all set up and now we're going to go ahead and wash the car and after that we're going to do some stuff with the tractor so let's go ahead and get out washing this 180. i didn't really film taking like washing the car or anything because i don't have two hands and because i don't have two hands or f two people here or whatever so what i did was i just washed it up guys so the car is nice and clean now. The wheels are very shiny now. It's nice and clean. There's no dust or anything on it. There's still probably some spots on it. Like that spot's been there forever. That will never come off unless I wet sand the car there. The roof is all done back. The only thing I didn't really wash was the exhaust, which I could just wipe that down anyways. The wheels I got to wipe down, put some stuff on them. Tires got to put some stuff on them. So now we're going to go ahead and get the tractor off the truck. We're going to go ahead and start taking that rear apart there figure out how i take those wheels off and just get that transmission out i'm going to give that thing to jack take the front wheels off see how i have to flip the front over and then we'll just continue on with the video tomorrow guys it is getting kind of late here it's probably like 10 o'clock we're going to go ahead and get on out of here and then i'll come back tomorrow it's now daytime it's the next day we are still doing some little things to the 180 here right here we have two filters this was the filter that was in it it's really old, dingy, dirty. It's got some cracks and stuff in it. The filter's like all bent up right there. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing it to this one right here. Our shop front, uh, Jason, we did a HKS intake system on it the other day. And he had these Apexi intakes on it and he said that I could keep them. So I'm gonna use them for my car. Uh, so it, he has a GTR, so he has two. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this on my car and see how long it lasts i mean this one i had on there for about three years and it has been holding up and been doing exactly what it needs to do the whole time i'll probably what i'll probably do with this one is i'll probably clean it up and then just keep this one as a backup i have another one over there same like qu same quality as this one it's still pretty new he only had to hit these on his car for probably two years maybe a year something like that so we're gonna have we're gonna have a long time with these air filters here the apexes have been holding up for me good i like the apexes they make a lot of noise too when you have a filter like this on the front it also helps too if you have a nice hard pipe for it so that it'll be able to actually make all the turbo noises come through it and reverberate off the pipe instead of having it make a bunch of not turbo noises we're gonna go ahead and put this filter back on and then we're gonna get onto this thing right here what I want to do with this thing here is I want to take the front wheels off, like I said. I want to clean it all up, wipe it down, put some screws back in. The steering wheel system is not all just flopping around like that. And we're going to go ahead and take the rear end off it and then figure some other little things out about it. So let's go ahead and finish up with this. The other thing that's on the car right now, which I'll, I'm going to leave on there for a little bit, just so that I get used to seeing it, is I mocked up the side skirt. Obviously, it's not painted or anything. It's not even really held on there. The door is really the only thing holding it together right now. So. We're just going to leave that on there, and I'm not going to drive with it on. If I drive it, I'll take it off. But overall, though, guys, let's get this filter on. Now the 180's back together there. We got the tractor flipped over. We're going to take off this big lever, the deck the deck raiser or lowering piece there, and we're going to go ahead and take that off, take all the other stuff off underneath. Basically, it's just going to be bare underneath here. So let's go ahead and start stripping stuff down. The rear end of the tractor is out. Other things are off, so like this lever here for the deck, that's off now. So now I have to just start taking off the rest of this stuff under here. This belt can come off. These springs and this actuator and all this stuff can come off. This big bar here can come off because I don't need that. The stuff underneath this fender, the gear selector and all this stuff right there. 
that's for uh, the transmission to put it in and out of gear and stuff like that. That can come off. Some of these long rods that are coming down, like this one here, this one, this one, the two up in the front for sure, those can all come off. And then honestly, I'll probably leave the front together just so I can move it around easily and I can kind of just pick up the rear and just push it around. It's pretty simple to take this thing all apart. Once it's all apart and I just have the front on, I'll put the dashboard, like I said, back together and that'll stay together. And then I will go ahead and bring it to the back and I'll spray it down with a hose and really clean it off really quick. And then I'll bring it back in and I'll see what I kind of need to do what I need to do. I think for the rear, the wheels and everything are gonna sit really, really low in here. So we're gonna basically drill holes in the back back here. And then we're gonna put in our floating bearings and then all that stuff will sit in there night like that. This thing's gonna probably touch the ground pretty much when I'm done with it. It's really gonna be neat to see what it's gonna look like later on. Let's go ahead and finish off all these stuff here. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it back and wash it off. So now the thing sits on the ground. It's kind of what I wanted. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the steering wheel system all set up and bolt it back down and nice and tight. And now I'm gonna take all these junk parts and throw them in the bin in the back, put all the tools away. We're gonna go ahead and wash this thing up, figure out what else we can do uh, for this thing and try to see if we can figure some stuff out. Cause I need parts for it now. I need to get a motor. I need to get the rear end, the drive system for it. I need to figure out how I'm gonna run my chain and all that other stuff. So. That's gonna take a little bit of time and work to figure that stuff out, but at least we can go ahead and start doing some more stuff with it. Let's go ahead and figure out what else we need to do. It's not washed up yet, but I don't know if I should keep the tractor wheels when I go with all this, or if I should try to go with the go-kart wheels for this thing. You guys should put it down in the comments what you think. If I do keep the tractor wheels, I wanna go with the eight inch wheels, both front and back. So I think that would be pretty cool. I'd have to find a shaft that could go through the back that I could put the little piece in that'll hold it in place and stuff like that. What's it called? Like the dowel, whatever you call that thing. But I think that if I do keep the eights, I'm definitely gonna get smaller tires for it so that it'll sit really low. Probably some low profiles or even try to find some go-kart tires that'll fit onto these eight inch rims there. If I can't find those, then I'll probably go with the front ones and I'll try to find four six inch wheels that go on it and I'll try, I'll have to put a groove in the in the rim itself so that I can put the dowel in it so that it'll hold it in place so that it'll actually move. But let's go ahead and bring it to the back, clean it up. The steering system now is all nice and tight. It doesn't flop around anymore. I mean, the steering wheel flops around, but the, the cowl doesn't move around or anything like that. Put all the screws back into it so that's nice and tight. I'm going to have to figure out how to tighten up the steering itself though, because like when you turn the steering wheel, it goes like a full half turn before it does anything at the wheels. The wheels are straight there. You can see half turn, even like you probably even three quarters of a turn and then it'll start turning the wheels. I'm gonna have to figure out how to tighten all that up so that it's nice and tight for when we're doing our steering here. I think it's gonna come out pretty sick. As is right now, it sits pretty level or maybe even a little Cali lean on the back back there. Let's go ahead and uh, clean it up now. You know how Jack has his shovel seat? I got the stock seat. Puts you back just as far, but you just take the cushion off it. So now I got a race seat on this thing. Maybe I'll cut a couple grooves in it and pull the seat up a little higher for you. So this is kind of like how the back's gonna sit. Maybe it'll sit a little farther out. Maybe it'll sit a little farther back. Who knows exactly where it's gonna sit. But up here in the front, I gotta get another screw for right here because my little piece for my steering kind of flops around. And I don't like that. And then when you look at all the slack in this thing, guys, when you really look at it, it's right here. So this thing turns about half a turn before it even does anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, get a ratchet and a uh, wrench right there. And we're gonna tighten that thing up and see if that helps out the steering a little bit. Eventually we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that stupid rod that's holding the front end together right now. And we're gonna get something that's a little bit better. I'll probably chop the steering uh, rack itself and make it better so that it just goes straight across and so that it's a lot tighter and everything there. But the thing came out pretty good. It looks pretty clean up here now. So wheels are all clean, tractor's all clean. There's no more dirt and stuff on it, no grass. Let's go ahead and keep uh, working on it for a little bit longer. That didn't really fix it at all. So it's still got a lot of slop in here. You turn this thing and it doesn't even move that. You gotta turn it still a lot before it does anything. What I think we're gonna end up doing is we're probably gonna end up putting a shaft straight down through the center of this thing. And then another connecting shaft that goes up here to the front of the steering rack itself. And we're just gonna have it 
uh, hard mounted up here, kind of like a like a dirt bike or a trike or something like that, so that it's just straight to it instead of having all these gears and stuff that move it around. Because I want this thing to turn. As soon as I turn it, I want it to turn. I want it to be very snappy back and forth. That's something I need to work on itself. I think we're about done for today. It's it's kind of at a point where I need to go get supplies now for it, and I want to go to the gym. Let's go ahead, pack this thing back up. I'll throw it back in the back of my truck, and we're going to go ahead and move a couple cars in, and then we're going to go ahead and get the heck on out of here. Next video with this thing, we're, gonna, we're probably going to do the steering and get the front lowered down and try to figure out how we're going to do the steering here. When I would lower this thing, I would need to move the steering rack itself anyways because it's probably going to hit here. So I'm going to need to move this, change it around. I, I might even have to do it so that everything's in the front up here instead of behind it. So all the steering stuff will be on the reversed. So like this this one might go onto that side and that one might come onto this side and then we'll have the steering rack up here in the front and I'll be able to turn it like that. There is a nice hole right here or we can figure out something to go through the whole center of it right there and we can figure out how to do that. Heath, Heath could probably help me out a lot with that thing to try to figure that out or somebody with go-kart. Go-kart knowledge can help me out. They could figure out how we could do the geometry for it all and so that it'll turn very quickly and all that stuff. I was also thinking sit farther back on it. Maybe I could angle the steering wheel more towards me instead of having it straight up and down and it would come more at an angle like this. I would just have to probably stop it by here so that the motor and everything can still sit up here in the front and then I could run all my stuff like that. We got a lot of stuff to figure out with this thing guys but let's go ahead and go to the gym tonight. I just got out of the gym. It's pretty late now. I'm gonna go home, change up, get ready for bed and start the day tomorrow. But if you guys like the video don't forget to subscribe hit that like button stay tuned for more i know it was a probably a pretty boring tractor video today but we're going to try to get some more stuff try to figure out how much we need to put into it and where we can find our parts for all this other stuff the rear end mason next door at peter's tires knows where to get all that stuff so i have to ask him where i can get it from if you like the video guys hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one